All right. So we're going to be using a similar strategy as we did in the one before. We want to collect all the bananas. And you can see the M, as in monkey, as the direction said, um, creates like four different lines, right? So first we turn to banana four. You have to be really careful to um, collect those bananas. Then we're going to want to turn to banana seven. Look at what they threw in here. Not say, step. They're trying to fool us. Um, and then step distance to banana seven. So you have to be really careful because um, like here, I'm trying to click on banana four, but notice it's catching banana five. So sometimes you gotta really move, you know, and around to make sure you have the right one. And that one's banana 10. So we're going to go to banana 10 next. But let's check that. Make sure those first two are looking good. All right. <gasps> Look at that. They even gave it 10 and 14. But we were going to do that anyway. So turn two. Banana 10. Step distance two. Banana 10. And then turn to to get this last line whoop not turn turn to banana 14 step distance to are you noticing a pattern when we collect things turn to step distance to is our pattern um could you use this over and over when you learn to create for loops when you learn to create functions Turn two, step distance two. Turn two, step distance two. All right, let's see how we're doing. 